Thanks everybody for coming along this afternoon. I don't know if you know about Hillgrove. It's um, a copper explorer. It's been a developer, a miner, and we're about to recommence. There's not many of those uh, copper companies around. We all hear the copper story. We're a little bit different to a lot of the other companies here. We've already got a plant. It's been processing and operating and working and it's fully de-risked therefore. No cost uh, risks with respect to construction uh, estimates, with respect to build programs. We have a decline in progress already. It's already being de-risked, the underground. We have permits for mining. They're all granted. There's no risk. We're on scheme water, scheme power, local labour hire. We're only 50 k's out of Adelaide. No risk to the uh, supply of expertise or labour. We have a growth pipeline to continue. So how much is a de-risked operation worth in today's highly volatile uh, in both commodity prices and in our inflation? And we are firmly on track to be producing our first copper ore this year. So let's have a look at the story. Short 10 minutes, so go home and do your homework, please. The company overview, you can read about it. What I'd like to just point out is that we are uh, fairly close to Adelaide, as I've mentioned, and the reason that uh, we are able to uh, get drill rigs within weeks. People can be home every night and still work at a very high paying uh, operation and place. We have people constantly contact us. Is there any opportunity to come and work in the Adelaide Hills? It's a nice place to be. As I've already mentioned, uh, it's a fully permitted copper gold project uh, with a great story behind it. I'm a geologist, so you've got to hear some geology. The project has been, was worked for eight, eight years as a series of open pits and then uh, took a hiatus while we did the drilling for the down depth extensions. Some of those drill results are on the slide here. Depending what cutoff grade that you want to report those at, they can either read as 23 metres or 2.5% copper, 0.2 gold, 14 metres, 2.1 copper, 0.1 gold, 20 metres, 2.1 copper, 0.7 gold, or if you expand the cutoff grade, and look at a larger operation, you get 171 metres of a percent copper, 166 metres of 0.9 percent copper. It's a multiple load system, depending how you want to go about mining it, or what your copper price happens to be. The geology is essentially de-risked. We have been mining it. We know where it goes. We drill holes up to 800 metres below surface. It's a structurally controlled uh, copper gold system. We hit those uh, iron sulphide uh, alteration targets within five or 10 metres of where we project them to be. The geology is essentially de-risked. Over the past couple of years, we've undertaken the drilling. We've estimated a new resource using the same or similar estimation process that we used in the open pit. We were able to estimate the open pit resources to within a couple of percent by end of mine life. We know that that estimation process works. Currently, we have about 62,000 tonnes of copper metal in our current resource, uh, which is an 80% increase on last year's, and we're still drilling. Only two of the nine copper deposits that we have there have been on our mining lease have been drilled so far. Another a more detailed view of the breakdown in the resources and the intersections that we have. Infrastructure. The mill, to, the mill is already built. There's no risk. We don't need to be conservative about metallurgical test work. We don't need to wonder about the product that we're producing, the recovery through the plant or its costs. When the mill was fully operational through with the open pit, our total uh, ROM pad costs, mill processing costs, float costs, concentrate costs, tailings costs were around seven bucks 80 a tonne. It gives us a lot of flexibility in mining underground to a very effective optimised cutoff grade. Here's a quick video showing, first of all, the open pit that's been completed with the haul road down the side now being a decline down to 360 metres already in place. Uh, the processing plant uh, is kept in fully alive operational. It's not just on uh, care and maintenance, uh, it's energised every week to make sure that there are no hiccups for when we recommence production later this year. All sorts of mill pitches that you can look at while we're going through uh, this particular short video. It puts us in a very different space. So, so many of the explorers that are out there to those who have to generate a major resource base to be able to provide the funding or obtain the funding uh, in the future 
in this current uh, space of uncertainty. We don't have those risks. At the end of last year, we released to the Stock Exchange an economic assessment study, and the metrics here for you to see. That it, uh, the first stage is stage one, uh, for the first three years underneath uh, the, the open pit that you saw in a previous slide, post-tax-free cash position uh, in that is estimated around $196 million. It's a really useful prize to go chase at the earliest opportunity without waiting for the risks and the uncertainty in the marketplace. Payback after 14 months. So, um, uh, again, to reiterate, we're in a very different position to so many of the other explorers out there that are trying to finish uh, the drilling, the fee studies. What will the prices be in the future? We're going to be producing later this year. We believe we are very undervalued because we have de-risked so much of our uh, future operations. The timeline that you can see there uh, uh, with respect to oil production. A quick, uh, again, video speaking to the open pit. You can see the open pit there, the decline. Uh, which is the Hall Road, down to the base of the pit. Uh, we've started the decline here with a, an electric continuous miner in yellow here, put together by Komatsu, research and development project. Because we're only 50 k's from Adelaide, we, Adelaide, we can provide uh, access uh, for this type of technology to be, to be uh, trialled, uh, for people to come and observe the uh, benefit of it uh, and to continuously improve this research and development project. What it's meant is that we've been able to complete this portion of the portal and now about 30 metres of the decline, uh, uh, basically at zero net cost to Hillgrove. What a great exploration exercise to take advantage of whilst we complete the drilling and finalise the feasibility study. The decline has already commenced. The growth aspects of where we're going is Hillgrove. We have um, uh, the centre in the black square there is where the stage one uh, three-year project is uh, commencing this year. And then in addition, we've got another seven uh, targets sitting in that mine lease around. Some of those have been mined in the open pit. So we know their geology, we know how they work, and uh, they'll be the next uh, growth uh, stages off the uh, open pit. In, um, in long section, therefore, you can see that not all those projects have been drilled to death. We're very much focused on getting going because all the infrastructure is already built. We need to make it return now. So that's the, the pink area that you see in the centre of that slide. The orange area is the next uh, drill area in the green and the blue and so on as we sequentially uh, drill out these projects over the next couple of years to be able to bring them then into production, not sequentially, but in parallel to optimise our mill uh, uh, costs. When we look at, in particular, the southern end, we call it the South Hub. In the South Hub area, there was a couple of open pits there that were mined with some outstanding drill intercepts. Uh, you know, 17 metres of 3.5% copper, 0.6 gold. 14 metres of 2.8 copper, 0.3 gold. Those pits at this stage have not been drilled underneath and they will be our growth project going forward once we've commenced mining from the uh, open pit in the centre. So we believe that we are a totally undervalued investment. And I guess you hear that a lot. But the plant is already built. The decline has already started. The geology is already well known. The first three years, according to the economic assessment study, is forecasting $196 million tax-free profit for us, net cash flow, for us to drive us forward. So we would invite you to really jump on board and be part of the copper project that's starting this year. Thank you.